Guten Morgen. So it's about 5 a.m. here in Switzerland. And normally most of my days are spent either in the hangar doing maintenance or around the Heli Mission headquarters uh, just doing various types of work. But today is kind of a unique day. We're actually, so we have a helicopter here in the hangar that was operating for about 10 years in Ethiopia and it's currently in the middle of its 12 year inspection which is this inspection where you literally have to strip down every piece of the helicopter and regardless of wear and tear regardless of you know any damage various parts have to be inspected and some of them even have to be replaced regardless of wear and tear and afterward uh, once this whole process is complete this helicopter will be up and serving again um, but the 12 year inspection is a pretty long process and one of the one of the things that the process involves is having various parts repaired by different contractors here throughout Switzerland. And so while most of my days are spent here at headquarters, this is kind of a unique day where uh, we're going to actually take some parts to Bern, which is the capital of Switzerland, to a company called Swiss Helicopter, where we'll have uh, some sheet metal repair done on the actual airframe of the helicopter. From there, we're going to drive about 20 to 30 minutes up the road and we're going to have some composite work done at a small shop. And then from there, we're going to go to Lucerne, um, which is about a two hour drive from there. And we're going to pick up some parts and then it'll be about a two and a half hour drive back here. And so I wanted to take the camera along, A, to show you kind of the process, but also to show you just how beautiful this place is. I've done a lot of different type of work in aviation back in the states but i don't think there's many days that you get that are as scenic as this i've made this drive before and we'll be going across the swiss alps we'll be going through various valleys and then around some of the most beautiful lakes i have literally ever seen in my entire life so i'm stoked for what i'm hoping is going to be a pretty amazing day and yeah i'm glad to take you guys along with me We're actually on our way to Bern right now to meet the truck that is carrying the helicopter that is going to deliver it to a facility where some work will be done on the helicopter. And it's about a two and a half hour drive um, from Trogen to Bern, but I'm with Viet Burkhart right now who actually spent some time with Heli Mission in Madagascar. He's a pilot mechanic with them. So how yeah. long were you with Heli Mission? Uh, 13 years. 13 yeah. years. How long yes. were you on the field in Madagascar? 10, something, 9, nine and a half, 10, yes. So and you've ten. served with Heli Mission for quite a while. Yeah. Uh -huh. Tell me about your experience in Madagascar. I mean, is there a way you can sum it up in just a minute or two? It's, uh, it's shorter than a minute or two. I loved it. I enjoyed the being there. I love the people and I love the, the mission that we are allowed to do. What was your daily life like? Was it uh, a lot of medevacs, a lot of maintenance, all of the above? Yeah, that's... The daily life was variety. Everything. Uh, and that's the beauty of it. It's not just flying, it's not just maintenance, it's fixing cars, fixing washing machines, speaking, uh, training locals, uh, organizing medevacs, having the people, yeah, conversation with very, very simple people in the bush and exchanging, socializing with them, uh, drinking their extremely fresh coffee that they just have uh, roasted over the fire, um, things like that in the bush, but then also dealing with very high-ranking politicians, flying the president, so in the 10 years yeah. that you were there, I know this is kind of a 
a difficult question to answer, but do you feel like overall you made a pretty big impact in your time there? No, I did not. I made... I was blessed to see impacts that we as Helimission took to make. Yeah. So yeah, talking and being with Biat definitely gives me a lot of hope for wherever we're going to serve in the future, most likely in South Asia somewhere. But uh, yeah, it's just really encouraging to hear. And as this journey progresses as far as into burn, I want to take some more video of just the process of getting this helicopter maintained. So we'll talk to you guys shortly. We just arrived in Bern. The truck is actually right here that has the helicopter inside of it. We're gonna be offloading it shortly and it's kinda of spooky. It, uh, I know in the States about right now, everything is shutting down, but because Trogan, the little town that we're staying in for the next six months is so far out in the country, we really haven't noticed the shutdown um, just because life has really been going on as normal out in the country. But now that we're back in the city, we're in the capital city of Switzerland and Bern, it's just, there's not a lot of traffic on the roads. Nobody's at work. Um, yeah, and it's a little bit eerie. But we're going to offload the helicopter soon and get to work on that. Composite shop where we're having some additional repair work done on the helicopter and we're in a small little village uh, I want to say maybe 20 minutes outside of Bern uh, delivering some of the parts that will be worked on here <music> incredibly long but beautiful day we got all the parts delivered to their various maintenance facilities and in the process took one heck of a tour across a lot of switzerland got to see the swiss alps see some of the most beautiful lakes i've ever seen in my entire life and um yeah accomplish a task that is all for a great purpose and i'm back home and completely exhausted i'm gonna get some good sleep and start back up tomorrow Thank you guys for watching this video. If you'd like to follow us in this journey, please hit the subscribe button below. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. The links to both are in the description. Flight by Faith is 100% donor supported. If you would like to partner with us in this endeavor, please go to flybyfaith.org give.